Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jacob, and today I'm gonna be making a thumbnail tutorial for everybody who wanted one because I've seen a few people ask for it, so yeah. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and you know, comment down if you have any questions. I will answer them immediately. Well, not immediately, but you know. So, you wanna make your canvas size 1920 by 1080. Uh, by the way, the software I'm using is paint.net. It's a pretty, it's pretty good for uh, like some stuff if you just wanna do simple stuff. But um, if you're like advanced and you like know how to do graphics and you just want to see how I do my thumbnails, then yeah. But anyway, uh, to delete this white space if you don't want it, you can just do Control A and delete, or you could just make a new layer and delete this one, which is what I don't do usually, but whatever. So there's two ways that I make my border. I can either do it like this with Paint.net, you know. Uh, I'll make it gray real quick so you can see what I'm doing here. But yeah. So, I usually use white borders, so I would just like use a shape tool and uh, make sure something primary color, by the way. But I would just use a shape tool and then boom, just do that. You know, like change the size a little bit, you know, stuff like that. Or you can open, you can do it in a different software, which is what I do. I usually do mine in Clip Studio Paint because it's better in there, and that's also where I make the character for my thumbnail, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I have an image of it in my files, which I'm gonna get right now. Just let me look for it. Okay, so then I start to add layer boom. So yeah, I usually use this one. Uh, I can make different ones in the software that I use, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for, for now. Since this is just a quick thumbnail. So yeah. So now that we have our border, we can start my background. Now I have a I have a ton of plugins in Paint. So um, I just have a gradient plugin here for making gradients. You know, like so like simple stuff like that. And I also have some for rendering. It's a ton of them. So, you can just look at paint.net plugins or good point paint.net plugins because I'm not going to put all these in the description because I do not want to find all of them and I don't even know where I got a lot of these anymore. So, yeah. But there is a frames plugin that you can get where you can just do a border and then you can, like, you know, do the distance, do that, do that, do that. A bunch of, like, random stuff. But, yeah. Usually, I just do gradients for backgrounds on my thumbnails, but it can be anything. Like, it can be, like, an image or something. Uh, like, let's say for example, if I wanted to put this in the background of the, of the thumbnail, I could. So, yeah. But, um, anyway. I'm just gonna do a simple gradient. So, we can go to render, gradient. And then, uh, let's see what I can make. Uh, let's just, let's do this, because these colors are nice. I like these colors. So, yeah. Uh, and then after that, you could also do a, uh... Let's do some... I usually just do a grid for my thumbnail. Uh, again, you can do any pattern you want, but I just like the grid, because it looks nice. So then I can, uh, there's like two grid plugins I use, that's a little confusing for me, I'm sorry. But yeah, so you can draw a grid, or you can do a checkerboard, which is what I do. Let's put this here. And you could do a white, you could do a white one, but this is still going to look the same anyway, with the blending that I usually do, so yeah. So let's just do this. And yeah, you can also like adjust the size and stuff in the plugin, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. Then you can just do multiply, and then boom, it gives, it gives a lot of effect. And now we have um, our border, our background, and you can also play around with the opacity and stuff if you don't like it, like being like too visible or anything. So yeah, so now we got, so now we have that. Now, uh, usually for the thumbnail, um, what I do here, I just do difference blending or uh, exclusion blending, I should say, or negation. It doesn't really matter, but um, yeah, you could you could use that. So now we're gonna make a uh, a person for the thumbnail. I'm just gonna make something really quick, so I'm gonna open up a new canvas. Let's make it a uh, 1920. Uh, you don't like have to do it by this resolution, but I just prefer to because it's easier and it's more simple and stuff. So yeah, let me like let me get my brush. So, you know, let's be sitting, uh, put this on like 80 or like uh, 25, let's say. Yeah, I'm just gonna make something quick for this video. So yeah, uh, let's make it black. This like 15, so this size isn't too bad. So yeah, so like we're gonna do like uh some guy here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a demo, so then you can just uh, you know, pull it in, and then Control C. I just said Control A, Control C. By the way, uh, they can put a new one in. I can do layer first. So yeah, if you're importing an image, then just uh, drag the image in and just do add layer. Do not make a new layer for that. I always end up doing that a, a bunch. So I'll be back because I'm gonna go make something for this and then yeah. Okay, there we go. 
All right, I'm back. So now that I have this image, I made this render for the thumbnail. So uh, usually I put it in front of the border, but you can put yours like behind the border if you want or something. It doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah. So now we get that. I'm gonna put some text here. Now usually I just, I, you can use any font you want, but I usually just use Comic Sans because that's what I like the most. So I'm gonna change the size. And it depends on where your character is. You can put your character on the left or the right. I put mine on the right because that just looks more appealing to me. <laughs> so yeah. So now the you can also move it around here with this. Uh yeah. So now it's gonna be like uh like yeah. I have to be like um. Let me see. Thumbnail. Or like, I could just be like. Okay, well yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really gonna, I'm not really gonna put any text here, so I could just put some here. And I was gonna be like, uh, uh, how to. Do so I need some like funny text here. So I'll make it a little bit. And then make it effects to it, because that's why I make it a new layer. So then I can just do like this, and then like make a quick outline. Do a drop shadow. Let's see, just put the lining layers here. Put the right in here. And then I can just do distort. Use my perspective plugin. To put it horizontally. And now that way. And now we have that. So then, uh, what I could do here, I just do this. Put my face there. Uh, don't move me. Put that over there. And then I could, you can put this behind it, but I don't really like that because it looks a little off. So yeah. So now, so now we have this. So yeah. Um, that's basically what I make my thumbnails. You can add like extra stuff, like a cool blended image in. So like I said, for example, if I want to add, uh, uh, like Baldy or something. It's like a random image, I thought it was funny. But yeah, like if, if I like wanted to add Baldi, I could just do this, uh, multiply, put like the opacity like down a bunch, so that you could like hide images in there to make it funnier. But yeah, that's like the only like other thing that I could uh, tell you. Uh, yeah, that's, that's usually how I make my thumbnails, so yeah. I do it pretty quickly, because I'm pretty good at it. Just saying. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, I will answer them down below. Goodbye. <laughs>